by the magic of television, we've managed to find a way to sideboard. So out come these blue cards, which you can steal, and thus maketh my day a lotteth worth. In come the green. Out come some blue cards, some white cards, although not many. I suppose we can. S uh, we could still play pan. We could still play cloud blades, but I think it's a little greedy, so I won't. Instead, I would just take out one pioneer. I think the P Mount Rider is probably quite well matched against him. Ah, but he does have the four mana cards, the four mana, uh, the four mana four two, and the five mana five fours. Now nah, this will be fine. I think this is what we want to do here. I would get rid of a sky gate and probably bring in a sky skiff. Yeah, let's play it like this. Okay, let's try this out. Let's close that window. Right, let's go, let's go. Oh, keep. Hey, hold on, what? We've got no no white bollocks. That's fine, this is fine. Skygate, 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 Skygate. You are useless in this mashup. Oh, thank God we've got the Skygate. Eee, there could be some problems here. Or it could work amazingly. Maybe he's looking for lands too. No such luck. Die young. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Right, this could be a quick one, unfortunately. We got it, we got it. I mean, it means we can do nothing, but we got it. If we can find animation module, we're still in great shape because every creature we have puts a counter. Usually comes in with a tends to come in with a counter. Midnight oil, yeah, that's pretty good for him. Well, Chief of the Foundry does nothing, so that's an unfortunate nuance of this particular card. I actually thought the opening hand had white in, but the conscious sky gate's on me. There's there's no way around that. Janjeet Sentry. Sure. I don't really want to hunt the wheat that as I think it's completely irrelevant and also I'm not gonna get the chance. Yeah, we're gonna lose this one, I'm afraid, gentlemen. Well that's something. Had we been there a little earlier we might be okay. I mean we can still ride it to victory if we have a well he's drawing two cards a turn and now he's got what's his green card again nature's way well not particularly good here it's a tidy conclusion takes care of it otherwise he's gonna struggle to get rid of this bro Okay, so we're going to hit in, and maybe... We don't need to hunt the weak. See, I really don't need to cast any of these things, so I'm just going to hit him for four. This is six, sorry. Let's see what he does. Pass. The Sky Gate is... If the Sky Gate was any two drop, I think we'd have won. But it's a Sky Gate. It's perennially useless. For a beautiful minute, I thought he killed the other one. Okay. The Delkin Blade Master. Well, Hunt the Wheat's kind of useless now. Yeah. By beneath the trade winds. Hello, animation module. I guess we can make a 1-1 one -one here. So I 
think the play is to attack with the tiger. He does this, then we make it fight something. Presumably the Janjit sentries that can actually have some application here. And then we play play this for animation module, and then we actually have something to do every turn, even if we don't draw lands. So even if we don't draw spells. Rats. That's okay. So we take a bit of damage. Lawless Broker, also okay. Just take some damage. Opponent discards his only card. It's Confiscation Coup. Ooh, could he not use it? It's Artifact, right? You could have stolen that. Ooh, Sky Wheeler Shot. That's a nice piece of backup. Let's do nothing. Land. And see what we got. In come the rats. It's curtains for you, rats. This is close, it's actually got close. The animation module draw is ridiculously good, especially with an inspired charge in hand. He has to do some things. He plays the theorist, sure. Uh, I guess we just do this. Put it scries. Oh, right, I forgot that his scrying means my screen goes there. Right, let's get rid of that. Team Dog Outrider, sure. And we have removal for his flyers. So they're in decent shape here. Now the one thing we can't really deal with is the Aether Trade runs. I've already the, the five mana with two blue flyer who brings two Thopters along. That'd be difficult for us to deal with. Apart from that, though, we're, we're doing it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got quite a few lands left to draw. Seven. Yeah, a normal amount. Guess we just revoke something and attack. Nah. Let's let's keep creating an army. I mean, if we revoke the blade master, he probably has to block with a lawless broker. And then we can lawless broker. We can give the lawless broker the old revoked uh, with the old <clears throat> sky really shot treatment but I'd rather save my removal for something better so I'm just going to not attack and pass the turn like just by him drawing two cards a turn I do think a long game favors me here he scried to either the top or the bottom I'm I've learned where curiosity takes me so I'm going to avoid that like at some point we're gonna swing in for a shitload of damage opponents double scrying which leaves me suggest he drew a land Panharmonicon, I like it, I like it a lot. Ambitious Etherborn, excellent. So we just need to get him low enough on life and then swing in with the lads. Oh, that's quite nice for us as well. We can make this big art. Yeah. And I presume we just sky well is this now. We don't want to draw the land. Our panel monogram doesn't really do anything, which is unfortunate. So I suppose if we s we can revoke this in a swing for five, yeah, we can actually swing safely with the Pima Ride. I think I'm going to do just that. I want to get through damage here. No blocks, no blocks, I see, I see. I think I might just make a guy here. 
Like, Panharmonicon's great and all, but let's just get him low on life. Like, him being at four here means he kind of can't be draw. Well, he can't draw two lands. Ether Theorist is tapped for the turn. We just need to get two of our guys through. Oh, apart from uh, Conscious Skygate, who's useless. Opponents... Will he deck himself here? He's got to play these three cards where he's dead to any creature. I mean, he could kill the Pima Outrider. That would solve some of his problems. Mulfist Squad. Okay. Servo 1. Servo 2. And he drew another card. Snare Thopter. I always said the Consulate Skygate would do its job. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 attackers. Not enough. I mean, we can wrath his board here completely. As in, we attack with everything. He has to block everything. Yeah, I like that a lot. I mean, I lose a lot of guys, but so does he. And he's already seen me make a terrible punt before, so maybe he assumes I'm just doing the same thing. There's also the chance he doesn't put enough in front of Pima outright. Actually, no, he can't. Just, yeah, this is definitely the right play. I think he's just dead here. Yeah, he's dead. What a great play! Because if, if he puts enough things in front of the Trample guys to not die from them, he dies to Inspired Charge. If he doesn't put enough things in front of the Trample guys, he dies. I think he's exactly dead. Oh no, he's very dead actually. Disappointingly, we have Panharmonicon in hand and no chance to use it. But we do have the charge. Money shot! Ladies and gentlemen, that is a, a poorly edited and hard-fought victory against a very good player. I hope you've enjoyed the Panharmonic games, which involve me not playing the Panharmonicon and thus disgracing my clan. Begin sideboarding just to be able to restart. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm off to spend a lot of money on a lot of very loose and fast things. I won't say what. We all know. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.